just rewards of stubborn virtue. Is this contagious cell the dual abode of too much innocence?
That I so long forgot thee, Joseph. My heart upbraids me with ingratitude. Pardon thyself. Ingratitude is a vice that bears its scorpions with it. The damn mildew, which makes a desert. 
that of the human mind and merits more of pity than resentment. That instant I'll with duty step attend my lord the king and bow myself before him. Hell monster, base ingratitude avaunt, no longer in this breast I'll give thee harbor. Ingratitudes, the queen of crimes, for all the rest of the train. Ingratitudes, the queen of crimes, for all the rest of the train. Her sure attendance at all times, the great supporters of her reign, her sure attendance at all times, the great supporters, the great supporters of her reign. If one you then ungrateful call, you crown him monarch of them all. If one you then ungrateful call, you crown him monarch of them all. You crown him monarch of them all. If one you then ungrateful. I have laid my troubled thoughts, the midnight visions of my bed before thee, which all the skill of Egypt can't unfold. Come then, interpret to the king his dreams. Almighty oh, Pharaoh, it is not in me. Interpretation does belong to hell, and may the Lord Jehovah give the king a gracious answer.
divine interpreter, what oracle could thus have solved my doubts? Where can we find a man like thee in whom God's spirit dwells? Be this day ruler o'er my house and people, and by thy word let all the land be governed, but only in the throne will I be greater. These are thy workings, infant Jehovah.
this royal signet wear, pledge of thy boundless dignity and power, whilst in our second chariot thou shalt ride, and heralds cry thee for thee, bow the knee. Then henceforth, as the father of the country, let Zaphnachanea be thy name.
Grant thy suit, behold thy bride. Approach my arsenal, behold thy husband. Who canst thou fair perfection say? Who canst thou bless me with thy love? My father's will. Obey. My monarch's pleasure must approve. 
Potifera, instant to the temple in joyous pomp, and whilst the rites performed, let our lad clarions tell it to the skies. And happy is thy lot, O Zaphnath, joined to such sweetness, 
dignity and virtue. of time begun since the race since the race of time begun since the birthday of the sun since the birthday of the sun there was so much wisdom found with such matchless with such matchless beauty he cried with such matchless beauty crown. Since the race of time begun, since the race Wisdom found, there was so much wisdom found since the birthday of the sun. There was so much wisdom found with such matchless beauty.
That do him honors, obstruct his passage through the streets of Memphis. The raptured virgins hail him in their lays, and gazing matrons lift their grateful hands, whilst holy sages rise and bow the head, and infants half articulate his name. These honors flow not from the flatterer's lips, like those that lavish strength in fortune's lap, but from sincere benevolence and love, and bosoms glowing with a grateful transport. Mm -hmm. 
gives her bread. He's Egypt's common safety, only hope. Whilst Egypt's welfare is his only care. to 
are these brethren? Why this base delay? To let me languish a whole year in dungeons. But are not brethren base? As we did. But was it I alone? Oh no! Then heaven has been at court perchance with my confederates. Whilst the wild beast, false taxed with Joseph's death, has met them on the way and tain his vengeance.
but grandiose, bulky, noisy joys. No true contentment give, no true contentment give, but fancy craves, possession cries. We die thus whilst we live. But grandiose, bulky, noisy joys. Bloodthirsty brother, fain wouldst thou have my life cruel, but 
cold, I fear for him. That some disastrous death has snatched the others from me. And perhaps Simeon's the only brother left me now. I'll touch the net. The image of a father sits on my brow. Nor shall thy perfidy dissolve the sacred ties of love and nature. But I will speak such daggers to thy soul. I tremble at his presence. Thou impostor, comest thou before me but to dare my fury? Where are thy brethren, brother traitors? Ha! Did not I say it? Did not I foresee it? Ye serpent spies, under pretext of famine, ye came to see the nakedness of Egypt. One year has run its course, not yet returned. Where is their faith? Imposter, thou shalt pay the forfeit of their guilt. My gracious Lord, our testimony's true. By famine driven, we hither fled for succor. We are twelve brethren, sons of one father in the land of Canaan. Ten hast thou seen, and one is not. The youngest was to the care of his old father left. The sight of him might dissipate my doubt. But where's your promise? Why is he not come? Paternal love, my lord, alone retains him. What anguish must it give the good old sire to have his only hope torn from his bosom, the prop and comfort of his falling years? How would it shake his poor old tottering frame? How wring his bleeding heart? For the loss of his beloved Joseph already reigns to cruel on his heart. No sun or sets or rises on the earth that doth not find and leave him to in tears. Great God, sustain my fortitude. This Joseph, how died he? A wild beast, my lord. Devoured him. Devoured by a wild beast. Oh, have a care. Didst thou then see his bleeding arteries, his mangled limbs? Now, by the life of Pharaoh, I spy some treachery. There are men on earth more cruel, Simeon, than the fiercest. Beast. Dreadful discourse. My suspicion is, is just. Know ye not yet? I can divine and view the dark recesses of the soul. In vain from me you'd hide the truth, imposter. Imposter. Treacherous hearts from mortal sight. 
unexpected strangers are arrived, and with them comes a youth of matchless beauty. My Benjamin thanks her. Straight make them enter. My love, retire a while. Soon thou shalt know the business of my heart. Permit me only some moments more. Your will, my lord, is mine. Fear not, peace be unto you. Twas your God that gave you treasure in your sacks. For me, I had your money and declare you guiltless. Think not that Zathnoth bears so base a soul as to condemn you wrongfully. No one so cruel to refuse you further succor. Thy gracious words revive my drooping spirits, and flattering hope of being guiltless thought glows in my breast and kindles life anew. Keep afar from all offense, and conscious of its innocence is not enough for the defense. For that unblemished heart is not enough for the defense. For that unblemished heart is not enough for the defense. For that unblemished heart. To keep afar from all offense, to keep afar from all offense, and conscious of its innocence, is not enough for the defense. For the unblemished heart is not enough for the defense. Is not enough for the defense of an unblemished heart. A slight suspicion, oftentimes, of uncommitted, unfought crimes, its purity with slander lines. Slant lines and gives it the delinquent's part. A slight suspicion, oftentimes, of uncommitted, unfought crimes, its purity with slant lines and gives it the delinquent's part and gives it gifts and gives it the delinquent's part. To keep afar from all offense and conscious of its innocence is not enough for the defense of an unblemished heart is not enough for the defense Is not enough for the defense of an unblemished heart. To keep afar from all offense, to keep afar from all offense, and conscious of its innocence, is not enough for the defense. The defense is not enough for the defense of an unblemished heart.
Once more, O pious Zaphnath, at thy feet we paid you homage and implore thy succor. Our reverend sire entreats thee to accept a humble offering of our country's fruits. Not such as with thy grandeur suits, but what a present wretched state has left. O Zaphnath, our fields lie desolate and covered o'er with naught but horror, barrenness, and mire. Menacing the distressed inhabitants with death irreparable, whose pale heroin sits on their pining cheeks. Oh, pity, pity, our good old father sues to thee for pity. For pity we conjure thee, and for pity our youngest brother. Lowly bounds to kiss thy bounteous hand. This kiss, my gracious lord, comes washed with tears. Oh, save my country, save my dear, dear father, and leave from God forever. Save my lord. Oh, this discourse melts down my soul. servant lives and lives in hell. And this, his youngest son, what is my lord? My name is Benjamin. Let me embrace thee, and may that God, my son, whom thou invokest, watch all and ever shed his blessings on thee.
Didst thou observe him, Judah? Mark his looks. I did. Canst thou interpret them? I cannot. Profound and inaccessible, O oh Judah, are all the inward movements of the great, and never by the continents unknown. Hey, great Jehovah, his heart to pity.
What sayest thou, Sailor? Prove these strangers then such base ingrates, bore of the silver cup that sacred to my lord's peculiar use they have, but shall not long enjoy their raven, already very taken, and in bonds await their doom. Ungrateful, impious men!
bosom beats with an unusual pulse. Whence this vile treatment, these injurious chains? For what transgression are we shackled thus, like thieves and traitors? That's like what you are. You have stolen the sacred cup that's set apart for my Lord's use. Why have ye thus rewarded ill for good? Imposture, fury! If the sacred vessel be found with us, bring vengeance on our heads. Straight we shall see, and then let the delinquent alone receive the wages of his guilt. At length the cup is found, where hid, my lord, amidst thy generous presence. Benjamin had it. Benjamin! I had it. Behold his sack, and in it view the theft. Am I a robber? Shield me right to spare. Seize him. As for you, go get you up in peace unto your father. Illustrious Zaphna, give room to pity. 
Thou who rulest kingdoms, rule to thy great glory, thy own spirit. Or to his father render back this youth. What death to us? On whom the cup was found, him I return. What God not hear us? Yet me thought I saw some marks of pity on his face. What pity? The man lies wretched, no one hear them, for fear of yielding to their piercing cries, has only pity for himself. Peace, Simeon. Remember Dothan's fields, the horrid pit, and Joseph's cries. Were we not deaf to them? Then we did not hear, and now we are not heard. What counsel can we take? If we return, our father dies with grief. If here we stay with famine, death is either way his lot, and black despair is ours.
But peace, Saffnaf returns. How not departed, ye insolent away? What foolish hope? No fear, my lord, and anguish have I locked up our lips. Yet would I crave to offer one word more. And, O oh my lord, let not thine anger burn against thy servant. When drove by dire necessity to rest from the reluctant bosom of our father, ah, oh, with what force, but such was thy command, his youngest, dearest son, his heart's first joy, he weeping thus bespake us. Well, you know, this child's the prop and succor of my age, the only relict of my Rachel's bed. Joseph, alas, my much-lamented Joseph, in a sad hour went out and fell a prey, as oft you've told me, to the tiger's rage. If then you tear this also from my arms, and mischief shall befall him, my grey hairs ye will bring down with sorrow to the grave. My soul itself now weeps. Thou hadst, my lord, a father once, perhaps hast To love thy own pretty arms. Feel the anguish feel. Thou hadst, my Lord. up the lad in whom his life is bound. Oh, let me suffer whatever punishment is doomed for him. He is too young for slavery or strife. Labor and years have rendered me more hardy. They all on me, imprisonment, chains, scourges, all the more I can endure. Joseph. 
Trust me, O Zephyr. 
Thank you.